couch flipping. That's not exactly what I meant, but I recently heard from another YouTuber you can make $1,800 per week flipping couches. Now, to be honest, couch flipping is one of the few side hustles I personally have never tried. So over the next seven days, I'm gonna learn everything there is to know about the business model. And with just a couple hundred bucks to get started and a dream, the goal is to use couch flipping to make the world a better place. And this week, all the money we make is going to the Austin Wildlife Rescue. I recently gave them a phone call. And they told me as little as $50 can help rehabilitate a small animal like a squirrel or a possum and $250 can help a fawn or a bobcat. They also gave me a list of some Amazon wish list items. So it's time to get to work. And just like that, we're outside a coffee shop. Could I please get an iced coffee? It's gonna be 514 today. Latte breath. I don't really like iced coffee, but this is me trying to enjoy it while simultaneously doing research on flipping couches. So I just watched this Ryan Pineda video on flipping couches, and he broke down five extremely important couch finding tips, kinda. And rule number one is to buy sectional couches. Kinda like this one, it's neutral colored, which hits rule number two, but sadly it doesn't hit rule number three of having removable covers, cause in that case, all you would need to do to clean the couch Couch is throw the covers in the washer and it looks brand new. Luckily though, this couch does look pretty clean from the photos. So I am gonna take a risk and offer the sellers $150 for the couch. It was originally listed for 250 bucks. So we've got some negotiations to do. Over the next hour, I became the king of lowballing people. It is currently the next day at 10.34 AM and I'm starting to get some leads for some potential couch pickups. The classic lowball technique never fails us. So I'm about to get a couch in the $150 to $200 price range along with check out some free couches from Craigslist. I also went ahead and rented a U-Haul cause there's no way a couch is fitting in my Toyota Corolla. The U-Haul cost me $19 per day along with 89 cents per mile driven. So with every mile, my bank account went more negative. All right guys, so we're pulling up on some free couches right now. Bro, to be honest, those couches look kind of rough. I don't think I'm gonna get them. What do you think? I don't think so. There's not even seats. No one's gonna buy them. Yeah, there are some free couches right here, but I do not think they're nice enough to buy. The next free couch was originally marked down from $150 on Facebook Marketplace. The Facebook Marketplace listing mentioned that the couch is supposed to be on the curb somewhere around here. So we're gonna look around for it and hopefully it's still here. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, I found the couch. It's right up there. This piece over here is completely fine. You've got two nice pieces. It looks pretty decent, but over here, as you guys can see, it's a complete mess. It's missing a bunch of pieces. Like I'm pretty sure these are supposed to be pillows. I would take it, but I don't think we're gonna be able to sell it. This helps me realize that couches are typically free for a reason. So if I wanted to make these animals filthy rich for my profits, I'm gonna need to spend money to make money. So I pulled out my life savings from an ATM. I declare bankruptcy! And I took my remaining capital to buy couch number one. We agreed on $140. Hi. Hi come on in. Hello. <laughs> cool. Is this for the couch? Hopefully we're able to move it. It's pretty big. It's, it's, it comes apart in three pieces. Oh, okay. So this comes out in a section, okay. and then that's a section, and then that's a oh, section. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. Here's the money for it. Okay. There you go. 140, right? Yep, 140. Cool. Moving the couch was quite difficult, but luckily I had a fellow YouTuber friend to help. And yes, this clip was filmed on a potato. My camera was on the wrong setting while moving this couch, but if the audio recorded, you would have seen this guy give us a printer for free. He said he no longer really used this printer, so I went to Target. Target, scooped up some ink along with some paper and after watching some YouTube tutorials it worked I found a $128 comp for this printer on eBay I'm not sure how accurate that is but if we can get anything close to that listing this printer on both Facebook marketplace and Mercari we're balling it's pretty insane what people are giving away on top of that we have this couch from earlier all set up in the living room so I can take some photos of it and get it listed on Facebook marketplace for $300 this couch is pretty massive it literally fits like seven people so I I am aware that this couch may take longer to sell for that reason. But the customers we are targeting have bigger houses, more money, and they'll be less willing to negotiate because they have more money. I don't know. That's my thought process at least. As the sun set and I sat outside waiting for my items to sell, reality began to set in. So I just got my U-Haul bill back for today and after having my accountant crunch the numbers, he told me we were in a rough spot, even though I told him to crunch the numbers multiple times. Crunch. Did it help? We are ending day two, nearly $250 in debt between the couch, the printer supplies, and renting the U-Haul. I hate to say it, but the only realistic way
way I see for us to get out of this mess is by picking up way more couches tomorrow and renting another U-Haul, putting us further in debt. In my hands, I have $400 in cash, and by the end of today, I want to fill this U-Haul up with couches and have no money left. The first couch we're going to pick up is a free one I found on Facebook Marketplace. It's a little bit of a risk since there's only one photo, but the people said it's available, and it's only like 15 minutes away, so we're going to go try to pick it up. All right, guys, so we're now pulling up on the first free couch. Do you see it over there, Ethan? Yes, sir. It actually doesn't look bad. This is a pretty nice free couch. It's not missing any cushions and it's in decent condition. I think we could easily flip this thing for like 50 to $100. So we loaded the couch in the back of the U-Haul and went to our next meetup. Good to meet Connor. you. Good to meet Will. you. Will. Will, so we're here for the couch. Hey, what's up? Yeah, yeah, come on in guys. Here we go. Looks good and then you can like have that lift up part too, right? It's really nice. Oh, wow. Blankets and whatever else you need. This was by far the most expensive couch purchase yet. Originally priced at $300, I talked the guy down to $250. The last couch meetup of the day was a little sketchy. 605, right here. Hello. Come on in, man. Here for the couch. Yeah. I tried to get the best pictures I could of that uh, patchwork. From the pictures, the couch seemed to be in perfect condition, but in person, well, not so much. So to be honest, dude, I think we might pass on this. Good luck selling it. I'm sure someone will get it for $150. Yeah, All right, thank you. Yep, yeah, for sure. So guys, Unfortunately, we ended up not going with that couch because the couch wasn't in the exact same condition as it seemed on Facebook Marketplace. Luckily, we only drove like 10 minutes to go visit this couch, so it wasn't too big of an L, but now we're gonna head home, get the other two couches that we got today listed, and hopefully we can flip them for some profit. I just spent some time cleaning the free couch we got, and as you guys can see, the couch looks pretty decent now. I listed it on Facebook Marketplace for $40. It's definitely not the nicest couch since it has some damage from being in the sun, but hopefully Hopefully someone takes it. Next up in the back of this U-Haul, we have this couch listed for $350 with free delivery on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist. Since that's the fourth tip Ryan Panita gave in his video. This couch was originally being sold for $600 new and with free delivery on top of that, $350 a deal, I'm sure someone's gonna get this couch in a matter of days. And finally, as for a giant sectional couch, I originally had it listed for $300, but I literally got so many messages. Like seriously, I have like 50 unopened messages of people wanting to buy the couch so I decided to raise the price to $450 plus free delivery. A lot of the couches in my area seem to be listed for a similar price and this couch is absolutely massive. So if it sells that'll be $310 profit on one deal. As the days passed my investment slowly began to show a return. It's been a little over 24 hours and someone is already coming to look at this red couch. On top of that later today we've got someone coming to pick up this big couch for $400. I originally had it listed for $450 but I I agreed to 400 if they were willing to pick it up. First things first though, the guy who said he's coming to look at the free couch, I mean $40 couch now, said he's on his way. What's up, dude? You What's here up? for the couch? Yeah, sure, I'm fishing. All right, so it's over in this room. You can go check it out. We've had it for a little while. I mean, obviously it is used, but for $40, I think, you know, it's a pretty solid deal. Yeah, I mean, I was looking at, because I'm going to college in a couple months, okay. so I need one for my dorm. Uh -huh. And, you know, I was going to Ikea and stuff, and they're all crazy expensive. It's a pull-out couch, so you can pull this part out, and then it'll go into a bed as well. 40 bucks. After making the first sale, the next person showed up. Uh, yeah, I'm here for the couch. Perfect, so just come on in. Okay. Come inside. Cool. So it's over here in the living room. You can go ahead and check it out. Do you think this will fit? Um, how long have you guys had it? Um, we've had it, I think it's like two, three years old. Okay. I just moved here, so oh, really? I'm just like looking for uh, something to, to, to get started. Even with those two sales, our profit flipping couches still isn't that good due to all the U-Haul fees. Luckily, we still have one final couch left for sale, but for every day this U-Haul sits here, I lose $19.95. Please, someone buy this couch. Sure enough, by the next afternoon, someone came by to look at the last couch for sale. Um, you guys take cash out. And after delivering the couch, I became rich. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now outside of Petco because after flipping three different couches along with the printer for $45 online, we've accumulated Wall Street levels of wealth. And one thing that all rich people have in common is starting charity foundations. Our foundation aims to end those sad animal commercials you see on TV, so I'm going inside Petco to grab a ton of wishlist items for the wildlife facility. In just a single week, we learned the skill of couch flipping and made a profit. In total, we made $835 in revenue new flipping couches, but of course we have item costs, the crazy amount of money we spent on U-Hauls, and a little bit of Mercari fees, which brought us down to $250 profit. And I just spent that profit on a bunch of items to help save the animals. Hello. I wanted to make a donation for some items. 
some paper towels. I kind of looked at your guys' wish list. So we got we got all these. Do you guys have any dogs at this facility? Or it's okay, be I wasn't sure. Wildlife. Okay, cool. We bought a lot of dog toys, but luckily we were able to pass those out at the park. You want one? You want a toy? Might be a bit big. We made a lot of dogs happy, especially the golden retrievers, and I can't believe it was all funded by flipping couches. Please subscribe because I'm trying to hit 200k and peace out.